Hi everyone, welcome to Farmhouse Life. So, it's the new year. Happy New Year. Let's pray and hope that this year is much better than last year. So, uh, we got a good amount of snow. They were calling for 15 centimeters. Um, I feel like we got more than that. But anyway, so we're out cleaning up the driveway and playing in the snow. Shoveling. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm just uh, working on a Christmas gift actually. So it's gonna be a serving platter, I'm gonna say, because it's, it's a little thin for cutting board and it's not end grain, so it'll be a little harder on knives and the wood itself. So, so far, I didn't film it, but I just glued up some walnut, cherry, and maple. It's pretty straightforward, just cut width same width like obviously these are this these are the same 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 and thinner Th gradually thinner and then uh, I'm planning to do like a wavy board wavy whatever they call them so I'm gonna I got some yellow heart here so I'm gonna which I cut on my thin strip jig which this jig right here so basically it's just two layers of three quarter inch baltic birch glued together at four inches i made a handle i just copied a hand plane handle there's a little stopper here to catch the back of your strip which is adjustable and then a little hole down here basically i copied the design of uh, fisher's shop on youtube I saw he, he made one basically identical to this and it looked like it worked very good so I copied it. So this is a, just a hold down to hold the thin strip because he said he noticed that once you get almost through from the blade rotation it's trying to pick up that thin strip and kick it back at you. So this is just keeps that strip down and so far it's been working like a charm. So it's four inches wide, so you set your fence at four inches plus the thickness of the strip you want, which you can see there. It looks like I'm basically touching, but I'm a hair thinner than a sixteenth of an inch strip. Look, you can see that's thin. And I just cut five strips in like not even a minute, effortlessly, and they're all identically thicknessed. So basically, now it looks like a nice cutting board well i'm about to cut it in half so i just basically go to the bandsaw and cut a wavy line through it and then smooth off that line quickly with the drum sander just to get rid of the bandsaw marks put one of these strips in place which is basically the thickness of the kerf or the bandsaw cut glue it back together and then once that glue's dry, cut it in half again of a different squiggle. Glue that together. Once that's dry, repeat. Keep doing it over and over until you're satisfied with the look. I cut five, five thin strips. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all five. I'm just going to go one at a time and until I think it looks good. So, yeah. 
Let's get to that. Okay, there you go guys. She's all glued up. I didn't film it. It's nothing really special, just gluing it up. But uh, I did screw up, I guess you could say, at one thing. I will not be using the spindle sander again. It's a little too aggressive. So I guess I put very small highs and lows. So once I clamped it, I obviously clamped it together dry first to see how the fit was. There was a lot of gaps. So I had to do a lot of sanding, tweaking sanding to try to get those high spots down. So once I clamped it together, there was basically no gaps. I'll admit it was not perfect for this one glue up. So the next ones I'm gonna try just hand sanding with a stiff, I got a stiff rubber pad that it's meant for sanding with so it's, it's pretty it's pretty stiff it, it bends but it's it's pretty stiff so I'm gonna try that with the sandpaper so that hopefully that'll try to avoid me from making any uh, any high and low spots and hopefully the glue up will go better all right we'll get back uh, for the next strip all right guys so we got two strips in there it's all glued up. That's what she looks like so far. I think it's gonna look good. And I'll probably end up putting at least four strips in it and probably the, all the five. So uh, yeah, that's what she looks like. I'll continue on and I'll show you the product once it's done. All right guys, so there it is. Try to get the color to switch. There we go. So it is walnut, cherry, maple, and then the strips. You can see they're yellow because that is yellow heart wood. So it's basically done. I haven't put the finish on it yet which is just going to be a, like a salad bowl finish mineral oil and a wax food safe but uh, I put a an edge on it I put a 1 8 round over over the top and the, the corners that like from top to bottom and then I put a 30 degree chamfer all the way around the bottom edge that way once I get the, there's going to be some rubber feet on it too. Not too high, small rubber feet. And then uh, since it's got that angle on the bottom, you can basically pick up the tray on any side with two hands. So I'm going to call it a serving tray because it's not really thick enough to be a cutting board. I guess it could be used as one, but. I'm going to say it's a serving tray. So that's that. I'll try to get a picture of it once uh, the finish is on. Well, there you go, guys. The finish is applied. Looks awesome. I'm very happy with it. Finish is still wet. That's why it's really glossy. It won't be as glossy once the finish is absorbed. And then tomorrow I'll probably give it another coat. 
So here, there you can see the, the profile that it's got. So yeah, so there you go. That's the Christmas gift for my sister this year. She doesn't know. There's a fuzz on it. <laughs> That'll come off after. She doesn't know I have, I picked her name, so hopefully she likes it. Anyway, that's it.